everyone, so today's video is going to be a fall time inspired makeup tutorial and pretty much everything on my face besides the eyeliner because I couldn't find a good drugstore eyeliner that I was really into. I've had bad luck with that, but everything on my face is drugstore. I didn't show my foundation in this video, like me applying it. It's the Revlon um, Color Stay Whip Foundation and I'm in the shade 110 Ivory. So that is what I have on my face as foundation. The golden eye paired with like this cranberry lid, I just think is a beautiful color combination. I'm not really telling like how to put on your makeup. My makeup tutorials are more about showcasing products that I love or color combinations that I think look really good together. Some people love doing crazy makeup tutorials and that's totally fine. I love watching those but for me I like to do more wearable uh, makeup tutorials kind of just showcasing products that I really love and that I think the colors look good together and then I like to get kind of crazy with my nail tutorials because that's where I really express myself and get creative and stuff like that so just wanted to say all of the products I'm using are drugstore they'll all be listed down below in the description box for you guys I'm just gonna get into my first fall makeup tutorial of the year I hope that you enjoy it I hope that you try something similar out and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below so I'm going to start with my Maybelline Color Tattoo Eyeshadow in the color Bold Gold. And I feel like a really yellowy gold like this is just perfect for fall time. And I'm just applying this with my finger. I love yellowy golds for fall and in the summer I tend to stick with more like brown bronzy shades. So that's why I love a nice bright yellow gold for this time of year. It just reminds me of the leaves and stuff like that take my L'Oreal quad in the shade bronzes and I'm gonna go into the number one shade which is just the really bright gold yellow my Sigma large shader brush one of my favorite brushes for an all-over lid color because it's so big and it just takes a lot of time out of it because you can just kind of pat it across your lid in one step I'm just gonna pat the shadow on top of my primer up into the crease where I would normally put a darker shade because I'm just going to be using one color on my lids for this tutorial since the lips are going to be so dark. We don't want a lot going on on the eyes. Then I'm going to be taking a pencil brush by Sigma and tapping it into the number four dark chocolate brown shade. And I'm just going to run this under my lower lash line about halfway in. And using the same brush, I'm just going to pick up some of the coppery gold. I'm going to sweep that across my entire lower lash line on top of the dark brown as well. And for my highlight, I'm taking the Sigma Large Fluff Brush and I'm going to be using the number one shade. I'm just going to be putting this under my brow bone. I'm using a clean pencil brush now, a little bit on my inner tear duct area, just to brighten up the eye. And for eyeliner, I'm just going to be creating a small wing, as you can tell from this eye, just a tiny little wing to create a little bit of drama on the eye, since it is such a simple color on the lid. I'm going to be using my favorite mascara, the Maybelline Colossal Volume. And then the next step is totally optional, but I'm going to be adding some false lashes just for some extra length since I do have naturally very short lashes, and I'm going to be using the Ardell Demi Pixie Lashes. For my eyebrows, I'm using the Sigma brow kit and I like to mix the shades Bella and Scarlet and I love this kit for my eyebrows because I bleach my eyebrows every so often because they are naturally like black and since I do um, highlight my hair I do like to lighten my eyebrows every so often so having all of these eyebrow shades in one kit is really good for me here are the finished eyes, just a really pretty goldeny glow kind of look. I think it's really pretty, definitely fall inspired, and I think it's just an easy neutral look that anyone can wear. I'm going to be using my Milani powder, and this is in the shade Amber Nectar. Beautiful face powder, it has tons of different colors, definitely warm, kind of neutral colors, perfect for this time of year. I just like to swirl it on the apples of my cheeks and bring it up. Okay, once our cheeks are done, I'm going to be going in with a perfect fall time color. It's like the perfect purpley plum kind of color, which is just a quintessential fall color. It's like the color I think about when I think about fall. The shade is Blissful Berry by Maybelline, and it's just so beautiful. I think it would look good on all skin tones. And if you wanted to tone this down a little bit, you could always blot it off, but I kind of like the darkness that it has. I think this is a beautiful makeup tutorial, very affordable. 
and easy to recreate all drugstore products. So I hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I'm going to zoom out right now just so I can kind of say bye to you guys and you can see how it looks a little bit farther away. Okay, so here is the finished makeup tutorial from afar. I think it's beautiful. Definitely has like a pop to it. I just think the cheeks, the eyes, and the lips all look beautiful together. So I hope that you enjoyed this kind of color combination that I came up with for you guys. I hope this tutorial kind of inspires you just to kind of maybe recreate something similar. Use like a golden yellowy eyeshadow with a plum lip. I think it just looks so good together. So I hope that this gives you some inspiration and that you enjoyed this drugstore fall time makeup tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And as always, I will have photos on my beauty blog, polishandpearls.com. I have a lot more coming and also a ton of Halloween inspired nail tutorials. So just be prepared for that because a ton of those are coming. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!